Good morning, children. I hope class six children are watching this video, and I hope you must be keeping well. As we have been doing fractions, and in last class we had seen addition of fractions, and we had completed exercise five e. Few questions were left, and it was told to complete the whole exercise, each and every question. I hope you must have done. One thing you remember today we are going to start subtraction of fraction, and this is very important again as it was told. Addition of, of fraction is important in the same way subtraction of uh, fraction is very important. But one thing you need to remember those who have understood properly addition of fraction, I don't think any difficulty you will be having in subtraction. So again, it is my earnest request those who have not watched previous video, those who have not practiced properly exercise five. E, you must complete that exercise, you must practice properly, then only you watch this video, so easily you will be able to understand. So, in this video, in this class, we will see subtraction of fractions and exercise 5F, we will try to complete. Here we have subtraction of fractions. Rule is what? Difference of like fractions is equal to difference of their numerators and divided by common denominator. So this is for this is for like fractions. So as we had rule for uh, addition, the same rule is required to be applied. Only difference is what? Here in between fractions you have minus sign. So suppose if you have 5 by 9 and 2 by 9 and you need to subtract this, what is needed to be done? 9 common denominator we need to write down, then 5 minus 2 use, just you need to find out difference of numerator. So this is 3 by 9 and if we are writing in standard form it will be 1 by 3. So in this way this is required to be done. So EJT as we have done in addition, the same thing is required to be done over here also. So same rule is required to be applied. If suppose this is unlike fraction, then what we will do? Again, in the same way we need to see the fraction denominators you need to see, find out LCM, then this is needed to be converted into like fraction. So in like fraction, if we are converting 7 by 8, you will get 21 by 24. 5 by 12 will be 10 by 24. Now, as rule 1 we had seen now, in the same way you need to find out the difference. And second method again, in addition what we had seen, the same thing is required to be done. So you see, suppose we have five, uh, 7 by 8 and 5 by 12. Your LCM you have got 24. Now, you divide this. 8 3 is 24, 3 7 is 21, minus 12 2 is 24 and 2 5 is 10. As we were doing in addition, we had plus sign, so we were writing plus. Here we need to find the, you need to write down minus. Now, what we will get? 11 by 24 and this will be your answer. In this way, this is needed to be done. Then you have subtract 3 whole 5 by 9 from 5 whole 1 by 6. Same method is required to be applied over here also. 5 whole 1 by 6 minus 3 whole 5 by 9. This is required to be converted into improper fraction. And then as a rule we have applied before, the same rule is required to be applied. The similar questions are there. Here you see, these all are similar questions. Then we have subtraction of unlike fractions. If unlike fractions are there, then what we need to do the same thing. You need to find out LCM of this and then you need to convert that into like fractions and then you do. Otherwise, shortcut method, uh, short method that I have told, that method is required to be applied as I have explained now. So these all the questions you go through properly, try to solve by yourself, if any need will be there, then only you take help. Otherwise, I hope you will be able to do, you must do by yourself. Then comparison is there again, you need to compare greater and by how much. So you need to compare that and then you need to, smaller uh, fraction is required to be subtracted from greater fraction and you find out difference. So you will know how much that is. Then you have uh, 
What problem? The cost of a pen is rupees six sold to buy three, and that a pencil is four sold one by six. Which cost more, and by how much? So, what is needed to be done? Just to uh, write down. You you need to find out the difference. Difference of smaller from bigger. So that difference already you have learned how to be found out. Just to find out and write. Then we have exercise five eight. So I don't think any problem will be having similar questions are there. You will be able to solve. Only few question I will take and just you see. I think you will be able to do by yourself. Just you see this question. Here you see how to solve this. Eight three is twenty four. Twenty four plus five is equal to twenty nine by eight. Minus twelve two is twenty four and twenty four uh, plus five is equal to twenty nine divided by twelve. Then what we will do? LCM you need to find out eight and twelve. So two four is eight and two six is twelve. Two two is four. Two three is six. Two two is four. Four two is eight. Eight three is twenty-four. So LCM you have twenty-four. Now eight three is twenty-four. Three into twenty-nine you need to do. Three nine is twenty-seven. Two you have. Three two is six and two eight minus twelve two is twenty-four. Two into twenty-nine. Will be fifty eight. Now you subtract this seventeen minus five eight is equal to nine, and uh, here you have seven minus five is equal to two divided by twenty four, and this will be uh, one whole five by twenty four, and this will be your answer. In this way, this is needed to be done. Then you see simplification. So addition and subtraction is there together. So how we simplify this? You see, suppose these both questions we will take. So here we have question number fourteen. Five by eight, three by four, and minus seven by twelve. Five by eight plus three by four and minus seven by twelve. What we will do? We will find out LCM of eight, four, and twelve. Two four is eight. Two two is four. Two six is twelve. Two two is four. Two one is two. Two three is six. So two two is four. Two is eight. Eight three is. Twenty-four. Your LCM is twenty-four. So here we will write twenty-four. Now eight three is twenty-four. Three five is fifteen. Plus sign we have so plus we will put four six is twenty-four and six three is eighteen. Minus twelve two is twenty-four. Two seven is fourteen. Now this simple simplification is there. As we had seen in integer, if positive like numbers we have, that is required to be added together. So five and eight, thirteen, and this is three. Thirty-three minus fourteen divided by twenty-four. So this will be thirteen minus four is equal to nine. Two minus one is equal to one divided by twenty-four, and this is your answer. And next you have this one question number seventeen. This you see how we do. As in previous exercise I have told you, if in denominator nothing is there, it means one you have. Now here you need to convert this into improper fraction. So you have two by one plus ten five is fifty plus seven fifty seven by ten. And minus fifteen three is forty five. Forty five uh, plus fourteen will be fifty nine. Divided by fifteen. Now you see LCM will take 
of 10 and 15. So this will be 30. Now 30 into 2 will be 60 plus uh, 30 will be divided by 10 we will get 3. 3 into 57. 3 7 here. 21. 3 5 here 15 and 2 17. Minus 15 2 here. 30 and uh, 2 9 here. 18. 2 5 here. 10 and 1 11. Then you see both like numbers you have. So this is equal to be added. So this will be 1, 13 and 2 minus 1, 1, 8 divided by 30. And this will be 11 minus 8 is equal to 3. Uh, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 and 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 by 30. Now you divide this 1, 1, 3 divided by 30. 3, 3 here. 9 means 90. You subtract this 3. 11 minus 9 is equal to 2. So you have got 3 whole 23 by 30 and this will be your answer. So in this way I think this chapter question you will be able to do if you have watched properly and if you have learned properly. Then we will see some what problems. What problems are also Similar, so question number 22 you see. Here we have what should be added to 9 whole 2 by 3 to get 19. We will write, suppose the required number. required number b x. So whatever thing or whatever number is required to be found out just to assume x. What should be added to 9 whole 2 by 3? So what should be added? x should be added. So suppose you will write so x plus 9 whole 2 by 3 and what you need to get? 19. Now we simplify this x plus 9 3 10, 27 plus 2 29 by 3 is equal to 19 or x will be equal to here you see both are getting added so if you are changing the sign many times I have told you if this is in plus that if you are changing sign will go in minus that will be minus 29 by 3 now you see your LCM will be 3. Here nothing you have means 1 you have. Directly you multiply this. 19 3 is 57 minus 29. So this will be 17 minus 9 is equal to 8. And 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. And divided by 3. So this will be 3 9 is 27. 1 whole 3. 9 whole 1 by 3. So x you have got 9 whole 1 by 3 and hence your answer will be you right. Hence the required number 23 what should be added to 6 4 7 by 15 to get 8 whole 1 by 5 so similar question is there I think you will be able to do subtract the sum of 3 whole 5 by 9 and 3 whole 1 by 3 from the sum of 5 whole 5 by 6 and 5 4 whole 1 by 9 this question you will see here you have Subtract the sum of 3 whole 5 by 9 and 3 whole 1 by 3 from the sum of the both numbers. So how we will write? The sum of these two will be 5 whole 
5 by 6 my plus 4 whole 1 by 9. From the sum of these two numbers, you need to subtract the sum of these two. Means 3 whole 5 by 9 plus 3 whole 1 by 3 and this is required to be subtracted. So in this way, by understanding question in proper way, this is required to be written and then simple simplification is there, you need to simplify. This is simplified. This 6 5 by 30 plus 5 will be 35 by 6 plus 9 6 by 36 1 and 1 37 by 9 minus 9 3 by 27 and 5 will be 32 by 9 plus 10 by 3. Now here you see LCM of 6 and 9. 6 and 9 you need to find out 3 2 is 6 3 3 is 9 3 2 is 6 6 3 is 18 6 3 is 18 3 into 35 3 5 is 15 3 3 is 9 and 1 10 plus 9 2 is 18 2 7 is 14 2 3 is 6 and 1 7 Minus, here the same thing you do, LCM of 9 and 3 will be 9, so this will be 32. If denominators are same, simply you write down numerator. This you divide by 3, 3, 3 is 9, 3 into 10 is equal to 30. Now, this is, we will add this, 5 and 4 is equal to 9, 7 and 1 by 18 minus, this is equal to be added, it will be 62 by 9. Now again this is required to be subtracted so your LCM will be 18 and this will be 179 because if you are dividing you will get 1, 1 into 179 will be 179 minus 9 2 j 18 and with 2 you will multiply this so you will get 2 to j 4 and 2 6 j 12, 124. Now just you subtract this. 9 minus 4 is equal to 5, 7 minus 2 is equal to 5, and 1 minus 1, 0 divided by 18. If you are dividing this, what you will get? 18, 3 is 54, 3 whole 1 by 18. So, subtract the sum of this from the sum of these fractions, so your answer will be 3 whole 1 by 18. So in this way, in proper way, it is required to be written and should be simplified. Then you have question number 25. Of 3 by 4 and 5 by 7, which is greater and by how much? So just to complete this first, so you have been given 3 by 4 and 5 by 7. You need to compare this, so for that you need to do cross multiplication. 3 7 yeah, 21, 4 5 yeah, 20. Which one is greater? 21. Therefore, 3 by 4 is greater than 5 by 7. Now, you need to subtract this. So, what you will do? 3 by 4 minus 5 by 7 will be uh, 4, 7 is 28. 7, 3 is 21 minus 4, 5 is 20. So, you will get 1 by 28. So, how you write your answer? Else, which is greater 3 by 4 is greater than 5 by 7 and how much by 1 by 28 and this will be your answer. Next we have question number 26. 
मिसेस सोनी बॉट सेवन वन वन बाय टू लीटर समय आकर जिसमें फाइव वन थ्री बाय फोर लीटर वॉज कंज्यूम हाउ मच मिल्क इज लेफ्ट विथ है सो इजीली जस्ट यू व्हाट यू नीड टू डू यू नीड टू सब्रैक फाइव होल थ्री बाय फोर फ्रॉम सेवन होल वन बाय टू सेवन होल वन बाय टू माइनस फाइव होल थ्री बाय फोर सो प्रॉपर स्टेटमेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू बी रिटर्न एंड देन दिस सॉल्यूशन इज रिक्वायर्ड टू बी डन सेवन टू जेड फिफ्टीन एंड वन सेवन टू जेड फोर्टीन एंड वन फिफ्टीन बाय टू माइनस फाइव फोर जेड ट्वेंटी एंड थ्री ट्वेंटी थ्री बाय फोर यूर एलसीएम विल बी फोर टू टू जेड फोर एंड टू इंटू फिफ्टीन विल बी थर्टी माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री सो यू विल गेट थर्टी माइनस ट्वेंटी थ्री इज इक्वल टू सेवन बाय फोर इट मीन्स वन फोर थ्री बाय फोर लीटर एंड दैट विल बी योर आंसर सो प्रॉपर स्टेटमेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू बी मेड एंड दिस सॉल्यूशन इज रिक्वायर्ड टू बी डन देन यू हैव क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन अ फिल्म शो लास्टेड अ फिल्म शो लास्टेड फोर थ्री होल वन बाय थ्री आवर्स आउट ऑफ दिस टाइम वन होल वन बाय थ्री बाय फोर आवर्स वॉज स्पेंड ऑन एडवर्टीजमेंट्स वॉट वॉज द एक्चुअल ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द फिल्म सेम थिंग इज दिसजी You need to subtract one whole three by four from three whole one by three minus one whole three by four. So simple simplification is that you need to do. In one day, a rickshaw puller earned rupees one hundred thirty-seven whole one by two. Out of this money, he spent rupees fifty-six whole three by four on food. How much money he left with him? This is also so easy. One thirty-seven whole one by two. Minus fifty six whole three by four. You need to do, but with proper statement, as I have explained with these questions, in the same way, proper statement you need to write down, and then this simplification is required to be done. Next question you have: A piece of wire two whole three by four meters long broke into two pieces. One piece is five by eight meter long. How long is the other piece? This question will be seen. This is also so easy. But I am taking this question. A piece of wire. Suppose this is your piece of wire. Two hole three by four meter long. Two hole three by four meter long. Broke into two pieces. Suppose it has been broken into two pieces. One piece is five by eight. Suppose this piece is five by eight. The other piece you need to find out. So what is required to be found out? Just you assume x. So how will solve this? You see. Suppose the length of the other piece. Of y b x meter b x meter then this whole length will be what x plus five by eight and whole length has been given to whole three by four what I did what length has been broken broken length has been given five by eight meter. And the other part we have assumed x. Both if you are adding total length, you will get total length is two whole three by four. This you simplify. This can be written as x will be equal to two whole three by four minus five by eight. This we have taken right side sine has been changed. This you simplify four to the eight plus three will be will be eleven by four minus. Five by eight. Your LCM will be eight. Now you divide this four to J eight, and two into eleven will be twenty two. Minus simply you write five. When you are subtracting this, what you will get? Seventeen by eight, and this will be one whole uh, eight to J sixteen two whole one by eight meter. So you will write hence. The length of length of the other 
part of other piece of other piece of coil will be two hold one by eight meter and this is your answer. So in this way, by proper understanding, you must write statement and then you do simplification. So in this way we have completed this exercise. Next exercise you see for size 5G. The all the objective questions whatever have been given. This each and every question you must do in your notebook. And these are so easy because from previous exercises only those all the questions have been taken. So I don't think any problem will be there. But each and every question must be there in your notebook. So in this way we have completed chapter fraction. Next day we will start next chapter. Until then, thank you.